I'm the Shannon McGrew Center. from Nightmarish Conjurings. Thank you both so much for speaking with me today. Oh, I you. genuinely loved the film. Like, I thank thought you. it was so well done. So That's since awesome. you both have worked on, you know, different movies within the franchise, how does it feel to be back in the saddle? Uh, it feels great. We really tried to uh, give the audience what they want. We tried to tell a story with John Kramer, not Jigsaw, but John Kramer first. Yes. And, uh, how about for you? It was a story that we wanted to tell for a long time. Oh. And we wanted to bring back John alive. We didn't want to bring back John in flashbacks. We wanted to bring Shawnee back in a smart way where she's driving also the action. And we wanted to do a movie where her and John had a great relationship before it kind of sours and maybe you saw it, you know. Towards the end three. of their relationship. Yeah. So, so it was important, and, and uh, the writers crushed it with the script. Kevin did a brilliant job directing this movie. It's it's the longest Saw movie we've ever yeah. made because it needed to be long. Yeah, it needed to tell a backstory. We needed to understand who John Kramer was and why. It's not just Jigsaw, and we, we learn and feel and empathize with all the people in the movie. Well, you're not all of them, but. <laughs> so, what were some of the biggest challenges in bringing this to life? COVID. I yeah. mean, we kept getting shut Absolutely. down. Absolutely, yeah. Kevin COVID. got sick. The cinematographer got sick. Toby. I mean, so it took a an extended period. Yeah, to I think shoot the COVID. Movie. Oh wow! But uh, we got really lucky. We'd never shot in Mexico City before, and then we actually never identified. Oh, so you really you were in yeah, Mexico City? Yeah, we oh. Mexico, and we never identified in ever in a saw movie where we were, like where oh. you are. So we identified that we would get, you know, the movies in Mexico City, that the, the story takes place in Mexico City, um, and it went great. We loved it down there. We really yeah. did. Oh, that's so great. The great vibes down there. Oh, I great. Yeah. First time we, we tell what city Saw is in. That is also very true, yes. Yeah. And I think what really sets it apart is the fact that it's his story. Yeah. And, like, he's our kind he of anti-hero in a way. He's not. He's a, he's a hero. In this, yeah. okay. in this movie. Yeah. In this movie, I think he's okay, a hero. Okay, yes, he's a hero. <laughs> so my last question for you is, well, I guess it's a two-parter. What are you excited for fans to experience with this film? And do you have a favorite trap? Favorite trap in this film? Yeah, let's do it. Yes, let's do this film. Mine was the eyeballs, only because it turned my stomach, and I haven't had that happen in a long time. <laughs> what? <laughs> um... I, for the fans, I'm just so excited to them to see a story. It's not just blood. It's not guts. It's a pure story. It's why it's the, by far the longest movie we've ever done. And it, it, it tells a story that could happen to you, to me, mm -hmm. to Mark. You're trying to extend your life. He's a guy that's the, got some bad news from the doctor, and he's scrambling like anyone would be, and they gave him hope. Yeah. I think Anthony Stabler, a production designer, nailed the traps nailed in this it. movie. Such, there's such a win. And I, I think uh, when we were talking about waterboarding as a trap, and he came up with the idea of bloodboarding, I thought it was ingenious. Yeah, it's definitely something I wouldn't want to experience, that's for sure. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank exactly. you both so much. Thank for you. Thank you. Thanks time. for being a fan, too. Of course. Yeah, yes, I love all these.